Well, today is opening day of the Pennsylvania archery season, or at least in my area. And man, am I excited. This morning I was skunked, although I enjoyed my set. It was foggy, wet, dreary type of morning, and I saw zero deer activity. But like most opening days, I'm hanging here in my saddle, and I'm just trying to work out my kinks, all my gear, just trying to get into a routine, get back into the hunting shape, so to speak. As I was hanging here in my saddle, I kept feeling something hitting my hand and thought it was a bug or something rubbing against it. Sure enough, it was tags from my jacket. So you know it's opening day when you still have the tags on your brand new hunting jacket. Well, I have plenty of other tags in my pocket as well. I have lots of deer tags I'm hoping to fill this year, put a lot of meat in my freezer. So why don't you tag along with me, no pun intended, with my hunting season this year. I'll show you the good, the bad, the ugly exactly as it happens as I spent the next month or more in the Pennsylvania woods with my bow. Hunting Farmers 2023 Deer Season is brought to you by New View Hunting. Keep silent. Stay hidden. Everything is new except your view with New View Hunting Products. Also brought to you by Camo Jojo, manufacturer of the Camo Jojo Trace a live view LTE cellular trail camera, and the Camo Jojo double solar panel. Camo Jojo, connect with nature. So tonight I'm in a familiar spot. If you followed my channel at all over the years, or even my trail camera videos, uh, you might recognize the water hole. Now the water hole isn't all that glorious in real life. It's actually just a 10, maybe 15 foot wide mud hole and really doesn't hold a lot of water, but it holds enough that the animals are really attracted to it. This afternoon got extremely warm. And in fact, the forecast for the next week is to be warm in the afternoons. And I'm putting my money on that water hole. I'm hanging in my saddle, maybe 15 or 20 yards from the water hole. I have a good cover here. Early season's great for lots of leaves and cover. I feel like I'm hidden well in here. I'm gonna get quiet and see if something doesn't come into that water hole this evening. If it looks like I just ran a marathon, it's because I'm sweating like I did. It's like deja vu again, hunting over the water hole. I was just hunting at the water hole one of the last videos you saw, but it's been five days. Been so busy on the farm, been making hay, trying to get some a lot of field work done for the fall here and before the rain. Tonight is the last hot night of the week. It's almost 80 degrees here tonight. We've got a little bit of a breeze out of the southeast, which sets up really good for this stand. And I'm banking on that they're gonna come for water. Uh, it's been slow going up to this point. I have hunted some other stands, uh, but if you didn't get to see much of that, it's because it's been less than stellar. I've been seeing just a couple of deer here and there, and everyone's been picking me off and blowing and snorting and carrying on. So I'm hoping tonight that all changes. Uh, there's a front coming in, gonna bring us rain and cool us down, which should be good. But tonight it's still hot, I'm still sweating, and I'm hoping that they still come for water.
Well, that didn't work. I think that squirrel was in cahoots with the deer. I was so busy filming that squirrel at the water hole. A couple of deer snuck in and I never saw them until it was too late. I reached for my bow, which was still on the bow hook. Amateur move on my part and they were gone. They saw that movement and they tore off out of there and thus ended my night. So another day, another busted hunt, but I guess that's why our season's almost a month and a half long to give guys like me a fighting chance. So stick around, a lot of good stuff coming up. Not only will I be hunting here on my farm, I have a couple of public land hunts scheduled. And coming up very soon, I might be having a special guest here hunting on the farm. So you're gonna to wanna to stay tuned for that if all our schedules line up. Uh, that'll be coming in the very near future, so you're gonna to wanna to stick around to see who that is. And don't forget to check out the sponsors links down in the description. A couple of great companies that put their money where their mouth is and helping to pay some bills this season. I'll be placing links to the exact products that I'll be using all season down in the description. These companies are very important, but not as important as you, the viewer. You make this all possible, and I want to thank you for watching, and I encourage you to follow along. Until next time, I want to thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.